Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Hope everything is fine. Welcome to this Bantam Blitz session. My name is Pepe Cuenca. I'm a Spanish Grandmaster and I'm really happy to be with all of you guys here. And uh, as usual, we're gonna play some Blitz games and I'll be doing commentary on them. And uh, just challenge me. Nickname Jose Cuenca. So uh, I see a lot, a lot of people already in the chat, in the Chess24 chat, also in the YouTube chat. Peteros, uh, Zelanden, Zevich, Raluca42, Patzer, Blitzer, and uh, I have a lot of challenges already here. So let's uh, kick off, right? So sorry for this screen and stuff. I've been recording video series uh, just uh, before this the whole evening. So quite messy around here in my room. So let's take somebody, yeah? For example, Mr. E uh, three one two from Turkey, my friend from Turkey. So let's see what we play here. I'm gonna play a dragon, first game today, and uh, yes, let's play the dragon. If you guys know, it's one of my favorite favorite openings. So the accelerated dragon, even better, right? Bishop c4, just bishop g7. So normally when there's a bishop on c4, I like the setup with e6 and then knight g to e7. Uh, right and uh, so we can play later later with d5 and stuff like that so e6 d4 i just take on d4 and then play d5 the knight comes to e7 right and this is just a very healthy position but, but you got a haircut recently yes i got a haircut like i don't know like two weeks ago or something like that so he wants to go e5 here maybe but i i think it's not a a big deal for me because after e5 just i just play d5 anyway or d6 and pawn takes, queen takes, we have big control on d4, so next move is going to be short castle for sure, or even d5 looks good here, but let's go for short castle, and uh, okay guys, Norway chess is starting in two days, right, so we all have uh, big uh, expectations uh, of the first OTB uh, chess tournament in a while, so should I go h6 here, Let, yes, why not, h6, let's see where he goes, so, for example, bishop h4, I can push with g5 and then d5. Oh, bishop e3. So, I guess d5 is uh, strong enough. Pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop b3 and just uh, queen d6 or even b6. Just, just reinforcing the pawn on, on c5, right? Karpo Kasparov or Fischer? Well, tough to, to choose among them, right? <laughs> so, what, sh what should I play here? Maybe queen b6. Looks good. Also b6. Yeah, let's go b6. And after queen d2, just a king h7. I guess this is not very good for him because we got the bishop pair. And as you guys know, the bishop pair is extremely important in chess. And uh, there's no reason uh, of taking on c6 in that position. This is just a pawn for free. And I love pawns for free, guys. So d takes c4. Give me that. Ooh, that's another pawn. Well, maybe not because uh, it's got... Uh, Bishop takes h6 at some point, so let's take on e5 right away. Because if he takes on h6, I think I got this uh, queen h4 and bishop h2, or bishop h2 check, followed by queen h4. But again, this is just a pawn for free, right? Just have to be a little bit careful in this position. It's just bishop g7, prophylaxis against knight c4. And uh, yeah, knight b5. Let's go bishop b7, protecting e4, and then next move a6, kicking this knight back to a3 probably again. And this looks very, very good for us. So how's life, guys? How is life? I'm just uh, in Ibiza again, this beautiful island, and uh, working a lot, actually. I'll be doing commentary on the Norway chess uh, from the... I mean, it starts in two days. Also doing a lot of battle blitz sessions, stuff like that. So, and I played my first OTB tournament in a while. I competed in the Spanish National Championship in teams. And that was a nice experience because my previous experience was in the individual championship and I ended up in quarantine. I ended up in, in lockdown because some uh, player tested positive in coronavirus. So I, I had dinner with him. So I had to be in lockdown for two weeks. So that was really, really... Bad experience, uh, all right. This is just three pawns for free. Is uh, Grandmaster Hamid playing in that tournament? What tournament? 
knight b1, and I guess just rook d1 is very strong here, so he can't take on a6 because of rook b1, right? So next move is probably bishop c2, just winning uh, more material, and then this is uh, more than enough to win the game. So let's play c4 here, so I don't want any surprises. Next move, rook takes b2, followed by bishop c3, and life is great, give me that baby, rook takes b2. Ah, Norway chess, I don't know, I think Ari Antari is playing Norway chess, also Magnus Carlsen, I think Fabi is also playing, right? But I'm not sure about Hammer. I think he's not playing, actually. So let's go rook c2. And uh, next move, rook takes c3. Or even bishop takes c3. And then I think it's going to resign pretty, pretty soon. Rook c2 back. e3 coming. e2 coming. Rook c1. e1 coming. And uh, this is just a nightmare for him, right? So e2, next move. And uh, rook c1. Hey man, I have been playing Chess24 for two weeks now and I really want to try to beat you. My nick is Selim Amakop. Well, I try to play against all of you guys. It's tough because uh, we are growing, as you guys know. And uh, it's tough to play against all of you. Too many people. So I'll try to do my best. So Rook E3 check, just Bishop D4. <laughs> he wants to flag me. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. This is gonna be checkmate very, very soon. Let's just play Bishop F3. And the check here, uh, let's say rook there, and next move, bishop e3, rook a1, checkmate. Thanks for the game, Mr. Iggy. So let's take, for example, a strong player like Tactics or, for example, Bogdan Girmasia from Romania. Uh, no, it was just quarantine, geeker, so nothing really happened, but, uh, you know, mm, health is uh, first thing, right? And uh, I think we ended up like uh, 20 players, almost like that, uh, in quarantine. So I spent like four or five nights in, in a shitty hotel, and uh, after that I could uh, drive my city, Granada. But of course, since I was in quarantine, I rented some apartment, I didn't want to go to visit my 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 family and also i couldn't fly to ibiza where i'm based right now because i had to be in quarantine so <laughs> it was a, a little bit of a nightmare you know but uh, cam is gone that's right that's right what's going on here what's going on here i don't know whoa whoa this is really strange man this is really strange because this was working perfectly so let's see what happens now let's see what happens but this one doesn't look good there i think now it's working awesome <laughs> uh, i'm a disaster with, with te technology sorry guys um c5 okay this is the london system um and this is the way that robin van campen proposes to play against the london system in Chess24, you guys have a nice video series on that. Normally, white plays with a4, and then we normally react with a6. There is a very interesting plan of going rook a7, followed by queen a8, just increasing control on the e4 uh, square, and also increasing the pressure on this diagonal. So why not to go a6, forcing him to go a4, otherwise we'll just go b5 and then get some gather, uh, get some space on the... On the on the queen side, but then knight e4, it's also great. Knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, and then let's go back, let's say, to b7. Probably he wants to go e4, all right, that's fair enough. Bishop f3, and then queen c7, and, uh, well, I think this is just a uh, roughly equal position, right? Stuck in a hotel for two weeks sounds awful. Yeah, man, and the, the food was shit, you know? So just wanted to skate from that place. Luckily, I tested negative, so I could run away from there. But, you know, in Spain, it's, it's going crazy, actually. With the coronavirus, uh, the numbers are extremely bad. So let's see if this nightmare goes away, because it doesn't look good. So rook a to d1. What should I do here? I mean, he's uh, playing quite well. And uh, I got nothing out of the opening, of course. And uh, I think I'll have to try something on the queen side. a5, b4, stuff like that some point try to open the c file right why do you speak english because this is the english channel alba this is the english channel 
So that's why this is Band Blitz today in English. I usually stream Spanish, as you guys know. And I think he gave me the C file with no reason. So just gonna go for it. And after Rook D2, just uh, I can just take on D2 and then Bishop takes D4. So I guess he's gonna try something special. That's right. And uh, but this should be uh, great for us. Let me see what I can do here. So Rook B2 takes takes Rook E7. Yeah, it's getting counterplay, right? Well, like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna grab this guy here. Pawn takes. I wanna play Knight of Fate. That's extremely solid. Why not? Very solid here in this position. Just uh, stopping Rook D7. And next move is uh, probably gonna be Rook A to C8 after Rook D2. So I think uh, we have some. Uh, we have something here, definitely. The knight is coming to E6 at some point, and uh, yeah, he's uh, trying to force the issue. So let's give a check on C1, and then knight E6 next move. The knight is quite well placed in that position, and uh, probably uh, next move could be something like H6, giving some pressure to this king. Also, he's going to try to, to create some counterplay with Rook D7. And uh, yeah, e7 is uh, under pressure, so I'll have to deal with that. Oh, knight d4. Okay, okay, my friend. So bishop h6 is extremely interesting here. Let's go for this. Bishop h6, why not? Just stacking the rook. Rook d3 probably is the only move. And then rook d8 sounds like a very good move there because there is a ping on the d file. So I think that was uh, clever. Yeah, that's a piece for free. Give me that, baby. Boom, knight takes d4. Sweet. Tasty, knight takes d4 with a fork on the two rooks, and then he's gonna resign. Thanks for the game, Mr. Bogdan, and uh, we'll move to the next challenge, for example, against Batman, Batman and Robin. And uh, But you also developed a uh, an ebook about it. Hey, hi, Susik, how are you doing? <laughs> Strong player from Armenia, woman international master. So... She's also starting to stream as well. So e4, e5, knight e3. And here I want to go for the Rui Lopez system, the Spanish variation. And here let's go for bishop a4. And after knight f6, d4. This is, I think this is called a Slovakian attack or something like that, right? But I used to play did, uh, this when I was a child. It's not very good according to the engines, but to have some fun is, of course, uh, okay. So, bishop e7, let's go e5 here. Let's see where the knight goes. For example, knight, knight e4. That's good. Okay, so I guess I can just take on d4. Knight takes, queen takes, stacking the knight on e4. But I think he always has uh, knight c5, right? And I think uh, black is perfectly fine in that position. So, he can even get bishop here. So, that's why I'm telling you this opening. It's uh, a little bit rubbish. But okay, we'll fight. We'll fight. We can do that. Bishop f4 stopping d6, which is uh, freeing the position for the bishops, right? With the bishop on c8. He wants to develop this bishop. Now d6 is not a very good option because after taking on d6, he'll have an isolated pawn on the d file, right? So, yeah, he goes f6, which is uh, rather natural. So knight c3. Uh, hopefully, I will manage to get the rooks on the center to the rook to d1, the other rook to e1. And now pressure on g7. So at least we managed to exchange the uh, bishop pair to trade so here what should i do guys so hmm, 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 hmm. yeah let's go bishop takes because i saw some trick so after queen f6 i got queen c4 check and queen c7 which is uh, winning a pawn in the spot right uh, so i think he can take with the queen and he if he can't take with the queen well he did so queen c4 just wins a pawn right the pawn on c7 is just hanging very tasty has a nice curry sauce so give me that baby and then the, once we have eliminated this pawn on c7, we'll have, we'll enjoy a fantastic mojito on the d5 square, right? Uh, so d5, whoa, that's too much, I think. So give me that. I'm going to take this guy here, probably queen f7. But I think we can just enjoy uh, a free pawn again. Maybe even two, right, with knight c7. So queen f7, just knight takes c7. This looks uh, good enough as well. Queen takes c4, b takes c4, and uh, this knight is coming back home. So to d5, so no problems at all, right? Enjoying life here, here and there. So let's go rook e1, for example, aiming to go rook e7. And uh, he's stacking my pawn, yeah? Such a bad guy. 
I don't like you. So rook e2. Yeah, let's protect that guy. And then after rook c8, knight d5, there's a fork on e7. So I can't take this guy on c4, right? So I think Banter's are for players definitely stronger than me. That's not true at all. Everybody can string. Everybody can banter, right? And uh, we need more people to stream, right? So we need uh, the game to grow, right? So the more we are, the better for the game, right? You guys don't agree with me? So Bishop G4, so let's go F3 here, attacking this guy. It's got to go back, let's say, to D7. And then rook e7, or just knight e7, just winning an exchange, right? So probably he's got to resign. Nice, Batman. So let's take a stronger player. For example, Neure, Neure, Neureiza von Germany, von Deutschland. Hallo, guten Abend. Wie geht's, Digga? So, ich spiele die Filido. So, das ist uh, sehr, sehr gut. <laughs> Knight f6, f3, and then probably we're transposing to the, yeah, it's actually to the King's Indian, the same each variation. So I'm gonna strike with c5, bishop d3. I didn't know about this move. So what should I do here? Just knight c6, as usual. Just put impression d4. And now let's uh, let's strike in the center with e5. So d5 probably and knight d4 was my idea. Let's go there, let's jump there. And then after knight takes, one takes, knight e2, I got knight d7, probably just protecting this guy. And here my first intention was to go c5, but probably I'm just taking on e2. And then at some point, I'll try to strike with f5, which is the natural reaction, reaction sorry, in this position. Also, moves like queen h4, knight f4 are in the air, and uh, it goes for g3. And I guess f5, this is very good. And pawn takes. Oh, Susik has 2700 in chess 24. Is she stronger than me? Yeah. So, uh, long castle. And I would love to go f4, but I think he just retreats the bishop to f2, and I have nothing there. But I have some tricks. I have some dirty tricks. So, f4, bishop f2, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes, queen g5, queen takes g3. And I guess this is correct for me. But still looks a little bit. Uh, well, dangerous. Let's go for it. You guys saw the trick. Bishop f2. Only move, I guess. Pawn takes f4. This is just very good for us. We just take with the pawn. And then this guy is enjoying a fantastic life on the this diagonal. So I guess he's going to go to f2. Uh, I really hope... <laughs> I really hope you lose again. That's all. My friend Nordisk is saying. I'll lose some games. Of course. This is very natural here. I'm playing strong, strong players. So... Uh, so here have two options taking with the knight looks also very very interesting but i like taking with the pawn yeah so and then next move bishop e5 queen f6 increasing pressure on this diagonal right and at some point uh, i'll try to mm, hmm, i really like this uh, knight b5 idea i intend to go to d4 and then i'm not on time to go on queen f6 probably maybe taking with the pawn on f4 was not a very good idea but okay, let's go a6. So it's gonna go to d4 and now queen f6. We covered the e6 square and then we're ready to finish development. And uh, can't believe you're even reading this chat. Thought it was a chess 24 chat thing or something. No, I actually read uh, chess 24 chat and YouTube chat as well. Also, sometimes Twitch, but I don't have time while this uh, while I play uh, Blitz games. Maybe it's maybe it's too much, right? So, but yeah, I'll try to read it, all of you guys, cause it's uh, it's more fun, you know. If it's more interactive, so I actually <laughs> uh, think I am a little bit crazy, you know. If I'm just here talking along with nobody listening to me, and this was uh, the case in the beginning of Chess Twenty Four, right? Like I remember in 2014 when we were <laughs> streaming uh, the first uh, the first banters. Uh, probably there was just uh, one person or two person watching the stream. Was one, one was my mom, and uh, probably some other guy or girl. Yeah, but uh, not so many people. And uh, what should I do here? I want to go c5 or something at some point. Let's uh, bring this rook here to c8. Intend to go c6, blowing up this uh, queen side. And uh, okay, so Susik just challenged me. I'll take your challenge. 
and uh, but she's 2700 very strong okay so rook c8 next move probably rook c6 c6 sorry uh, queen d3 this i think this doesn't change my plans right or maybe it, it does because after pawn takes bishop takes knight, knight takes rook takes queen d5 just wins the game so i gotta be extremely careful in this position so i guess i'm mm, moving this skin away and now knight c6 that was very clever so i guess i'm forced to take here and now i don't know let's take on c4 and let's play a5 here just uh intend to go a4 again opening the position and yeah let's go a4 bishop takes queen takes and let's hope for the best yeah for 45 seconds a3 so he can't reinforce the, the b4 pawn so only 35 seconds for him bishop c2 probably i don't know what he wants to do let's go rook b8 just attacking this pawn on b4 and at some point i should uh, reallocate this guy on h5 yeah this starts looking extremely extremely dangerous for me so i'm just gonna go rook f8 now uh queen e5 now queen b2 is a checkmate yeah queen b2 is a checkmate you gotta do something about this and it's not gonna be easy okay he did and uh, i guess i got rook b4 rook b4 I, i'm not so sure because queen e5 and then rook d7 so that's why i'm gonna uh, block this and then rook b5 in order to take on b4 this looks extremely good for us now so 16 seconds give me that baby rook takes before rook takes before now we activate the skin let's go let's go my friends knight f6 as well also let's bring the king to the action rook d3 where is it where is he going okay let's play i don't know rook a4 oh my gosh oh my gosh rook a5 let's see rook b3 give me that give me that give me that uh, i think i cannot take the the rook the the rook because the the pawn endgame is just losing so king f6 rook c5 next move king e5 pre-move let's go rook c1 i cannot take this guy d5 and he just loses on time oh shit <laughs> thanks for the game that was close man that was very very close all right so let's take susik challenges he just uh canceled the challenge no he's just there she's just there so okay so let's see where what she plays and uh hi pepe my english is very poor so that's why you should join the english banter so you can learn chess and not def definitely not english but uh, spanglish yeah so let's play the king's indian against uh susik wow she's very fast as you guys can see d3 okay let's play d5 then or c5 why not c5 and uh, just trying to occupy the center at some point and this is just uh king's indian with reverse colors as you guys can see here so let's just play mm, d5 it's possible i think so d5 Pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, and then after bishop e3, I gotta be careful with some knight d4 ideas, which are uh, very interesting in this in these cases with a bishop on e3. If there is a queen on d5, knight d4, ruining the structure on c6 is just um, uh, very 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 interesting for white. So you gotta be careful with that, and then remove the queen to d6. Mm, in fact i learned a little bit english by playing banters here so i learned english just watching netflix you know at some at some point and uh watching series and uh that's a very interesting way to learn languages yeah but i didn't learn uh fully english until i lived uh abroad yeah so i was studying in italy a master and uh that's the way i learned english i guess because i was living with a lot of indian and nepalese people and uh, so i had to talk english all the time so that's a pawn for free i love pawn for free so i'm gonna take this guy on a2 give me that susik i'm gonna take this and probably yeah that was smart because now if i play queen d5 which was my uh, intention now knight d4 is a very interesting move so that's why i'm gonna protect that pawn from a5 and not from d5 because knight d4 and then when I remove the queen from d5, knight takes c6, my structure is completely ruined. So that's why I went back to a5. And uh, yeah, I think this is uh, okay for us, right? So next move. Yeah, now I'm going to take this. Ah, knight d2, but I guess I can just play knight d4. I'm not so sure. Also, knight b4 looks, looks tempting to me. No, 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 that was uh, not very smart. So hmm, I don't know what to play. Let's play knight d4, c3, I just go back to e6, where I protect c5, and then d3 is a weakness, so I can 
increase pressure on that weakness by playing rook d8 and uh, yeah knight e4 now i'm suffering a little bit <laughs> now i am suffering in this position that was not smart at all okay so i gotta go rook d8 here and then she managed to get a nice position she managed to get a nice position guys so what should i do here ah don't like this i don't like this let's go e6 here and then hope for the, for the best but uh, position is not very very comfortable now for me uh, let's play bishop f8 and then try to to protect this position to defend this position mm, yes rook a1 this is smart too i don't know guys it's giving me She's giving me so much headache. So a6. My plan is just to go rook b8 and then bishop d7. Let's go rook b8. So no more troubles. Then bishop d7. Finally, if I manage to bring the bishop to c6 with the rook on c8, probably this is going to be around equal. Let's try to flag here. Mm. So bishop d7 next move. And let's see. One minute for her. So h4. So we don't care about that, that attack over there. So I'm just going to go rook c8. Next move, bishop c6. h5. So bishop c6. We managed to uh, remove the pressure uh, on this diagonal. So I think now this is completely equal. But we are on top because we have 20 seconds. Which is always great news for us. So let's put pressure on b2. Let's play king g7. No surprises on the h file. And now rook b6. Next move. Putting pressure on b2. Let's go there. Rook b6. She's, she's forced to go back to a2 with the rook. Yeah, so I think we made some progress. So now rook b3, rook c6, and rook b6. I think her, her best choice is just to go back with the rook. That's, that's nice. And uh, yeah, let's bring the king now. Let's bring the king, bring the king, bring the king, bring the rook. Uh, well, not so sure what I just did. So let's go back with the rook now. Rook b5 and 30 seconds for her. Let's go rook c6. I'm doing some dubious stuff in this position, definitely. So there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. So let's go back to b6. I don't know, man. I don't know. What am I doing here? This was definitely not a very good choice for me. So let's go king d6 in order to go rook c7. <laughs> this is getting crazy a little bit. So takes, takes, and now rook d6. Let's try to occupy the h file. Let's go to the h file. Boom. Let's go to the h file. And now rook h1. Let's see. d5. I'm just going to grab this guy here. Uh, he she takes with the rook. Rook uh, e1. And now rook e2. Next move. Yes. Okay. That was smart too. So rook e6, f6. Now she's, she's very fast. She's very fast. I don't like this. Rookie one. She's extremely fast. I don't know, guys. Let's go there. Let's go there. Ah. Uh, let's go there. Ah. Uh, King e6. Check. Check. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. She's gonna beat me. She's gonna beat me. She's gonna beat me. She's very fast. She's very fast. She's very fast. She beat me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> great game. <laughs> she was extremely fast in that end game. So, okay, let's take another Feeder Master, yeah? That was rough. <laughs> great game, Suzik, yeah? So, e4 and uh, e5. So, let's play this uh, Italian, okay, with Bishop c5. That was great, Suzik. Not f6. And, uh, okay, let's go for sure castle here. So, there are different plans here. So, rook e1. Okay, I'm going to go a6, which is a very natural move. So, give the, the, the a7 square for the bishop. So, now, once we have retreated the bishop to a7. So, after bishop g5, we don't have bishop a e7 anymore. So, that's why I'm going to go a6. And, uh, well played, well played. And... Uh, Jup is a well-known player, of course, in the Spanish community. Yeah, I think I played him like 10 times. So I feel the master from Cadiz. So bishop e3. Let's just grab this guy here. And then bishop e6. So he takes on e6. 
of course, the structure is ruined for us, but then we have uh, we have uh, the F file to attack in the future. And yeah, that was a very nice move, A5 to, to fix the structure. But I guess I have some interesting ideas here. Let's say knight e7 to go knight g6 and then knight f4, for example. He still can't take on b7, right? Because there is uh, there is uh, rook b8 just uh, trapping the queen, right? So let's play knight g6 in order to go knight f4. Probably it's in time to go g3 in this position. He didn't go for g6 and instead she, he just pushed with d4, which is very nice. So I'm not so sure about this position anymore, right? So I guess I'm forced to take on d4 and at some point I should uh, guard this uh, b7 pawn. So I'm just gonna do it right now. So mm -hmm. very, very dubious what I'm doing, yeah? Rook c1. <laughs> c6. See, this is very strange what I'm doing. Gotta tell you this, guys. So after one loss, one should recover, right? Like Russian uh, school, yeah? It's uh, great to make a draw after one loss. Knight c4. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, e5 is a threat all the time. So maybe that's why I'm going to go for knight h5. Intend to go knight f4, but I don't believe in myself in this position anymore, right? So I'm not gonna play against him anymore. <laughs> so he's got a positive score against me right now. <laughs> That's a great technique, right? So knight f4, at least we got a knight on f4. I don't know if it's uh, enough to create contemplate. Now my idea was just to close with d5, of course, and then see if I can create some sort of attack here. Let's say with queen e7, right? You intend to go knight h4 at some point? Could be an idea, right? So I think position is quite closed on the queen side. So maybe knight h4, right? Knight h4 takes, takes. I think this is possible. So knight takes, queen takes, and then g3 is not allowed because of queen h3, followed by queen g4. And uh, I think at least... We, he can be scared a little bit, right, in this in this position, because I, I think maybe we don't have uh, dangerous attack or something, but uh, we have some pieces surrounding his skin, right? Mm. Well, g3 straight away. Okay. g3 straight away. Uh, well, where should we go? Knight f3, this was a very good move too, I think. So, I don't like this anymore, guys. I don't like this at all. Knight g2, no, this is just rubbish. So, I guess I have to take here. And knight g6, probably. So, knight takes f8. Well, this is just uh, too bad for us. Too bad for us. Let's just play rook takes and... Uh, c5 let's just try to wow i don't have time 27 seconds rook f7 i missed that completely so queen g5 just losing in this position too so let's play rook f8 here just to create some attack on f2 now he doesn't allow me he's playing well he's playing well so i'm gonna take this guy here now and i take uh, and the pawn on e5 is just hanging so i could try to grab that but i think f4 is a very strong move so queen g6 i don't have time guys so d3 and then I'll, I'll try to activate my knight on uh, e4 at some point. So h5, h4 is also an idea. b4 probably is a good move here. So h5. And uh, this is just completely losing, right? h4, this is good. Knight b8. Let's try to uh, activate the, the knight by a d4 or something. So uh, knight d4. Let's go there. So knight b3 is not an option. Queen f5 just planted the pawn too. So takes, takes. And knight c6. So we just completely lost here. We're just completely lost in this position. So king e7 takes, takes, and we're just running out of time. Yeah, takes. Okay, just planted this guy here. So give me that, give me that, and we just plunder everything. Yeah, we just plunder everything. So two loses straight away. This is not a very good uh, business. Yeah, so we should focus a little bit. <coughs> and uh, well, 
I just click on rematch. Sorry, I cannot do that because there are many more people waiting. So let's take, uh, for example, Eric93. And let's try to kick, uh, let's try to beat some people, yeah? So I should recover from this loss. D4, this is the Sicilian. And uh, Knight C6, probably this is, he's gonna go for the Taimanov. No, he goes for this uh, off bit Sicilian with Knight F6. And now this could transpose to, mm, I'm really old. <laughs> That's right, Trini. <laughs> this actually transposes to the Pelican, right? Bishop g5, a6, now b5, b5, bishop takes f6, and I'm gonna show you, okay, it goes bishop e7. And, okay, let's just take here and then play knight d5. And this is, of course, one of the main lines too. And uh, I'm gonna go c3, trying to bring this knight to the action, to c2 or e3. And uh, I'm quite old, yeah. I'm 33 years old already, man. I'm I'm getting old and uh, slow, right? So, yeah. Normally this knight on a3 is not well placed. So I could uh, play knight c2 here. And then in some positions you can play a4 as well. I'm going to go h4 here. So stopping bishop g5 ideas. And taking on h4 is not the best idea right so here i'm gonna go g3 and then bishop g2 the bishop is more or less all right on g2 so time to bring this knight to the action knight e3 intend to recapture d5 with the knight and rook c8 just bishop g2 looks good to me and knight c4 i guess i'm forced to to take here and then go short castle it takes with a pawn that was uh, a bit surprising because now I think my, my play is uh, at least easy, yeah? So I can just put pressure on the d6 pawn. He took on d5. Yeah, he's got some counter play on the b file as well. So maybe it's not dreaming position what I have here. That's right. Queen b6. Yeah, this is this not looking very good. <laughs> this is not looking very good today. So <laughs> what I just did, yeah, I, I just did some stupid shit, you know? Okay, I don't want to make a draw. B4 looks like a draw. So takes, takes. Okay, let's let's go for this and then try to, to, to trick him at some point. So B4, pawn takes, pawn takes, queen takes, rook is 6. Yeah, he takes on C3. And this is a dead position, right? But, uh, <laughs> okay, now rook A6, queen C3. And I'll try to, I don't know how I'm going to create troubles here. In this position but it's it looks very very hard for me to create troubles here so maybe i should now nah, i'll just take on c3 and take on d6 and at some point if i manage to bring the bishop to d5 then i could dream with something but okay let's play rook d2 and then rook d1 okay and uh yeah this is nothing for me but i'll try i'll try i'll try till the end yeah if I manage to get a bishop on d5 and then pressure, put pressure on f7, we could uh, have something at some point. But let's see how we do that. 1 minute 26 seconds. <laughs> I suspect COVID is there somehow troubling Pepe, yeah? No, not yet. Oh, I have bishop g4. Well, he was lucky, yeah? Because bishop g4 and bishop f5, the king will have to go to h5. So, I don't know. Let me see how I trick him. So, okay. Now I cannot play bishop g4. So I'm gonna go, let's say, rook a2. And uh, rook d4. Okay, we don't want to um, exchange exchange rook. So that's why I'm playing rook a1. And then next move, rook a6. Or rook a7. Even, yeah, let's, let's exchange a pair of rooks, yeah? Rook a7. But not on d4, of course. And let's take here, and then let's play rook a6. And now my plan. I want to bring the bishop to this diagonal. So bishop e2 and bishop c4 could be an option. Bishop e2, yeah, let's go there. Bishop e2 is going to go rook a6, but we're not trading that rook, of course, because that will be the end of the game. And now bishop c4. Now I think we have something, yeah? So mm, his pieces are a little bit clumsy, because he cannot play g6. So now the bishop finally reached d5. And king g8, let's play... No! What? What? What a shitty mouse! I wanted to go rook a8. 
Okay, let's try to flag. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. No, I'm beating him with a rook down. <laughs> okay, bishop g6. Let's make a queen. Let's make a queen. King h3. <laughs> oh my god. King g4. Let's play f4. Come on, let's push here with the pawns, yeah? Now he's uh, shaking. He's shaking probably. e5. e5. He's gonna sacrifice. I know him. King f5. Now I just blundered the pawn. No, h5. Come on, we're putting pressure with a rook down. King e6. f5. Facundo. 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 e6. This is crazy. e7. No, I wanna win the game. I don't wanna draw anymore. I don't wanna draw anymore. Take takes. Take takes. King f7. Bishop there. Uh, I don't wanna draw. I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna win this game. For my mother. For my mother. There. There. 8 6, 8 7. That's it. Boom. Shakalala. Boom. Shakalala. So. Let's go. And next game. Next game. It was crazy, yeah? Danger strike. And e4. Let's go e4 and c5, knight f3. This was resilience, yeah? <laughs> uh, okay, knight c6, knight c3. And bishop g5. This is the classical Sicilian. And let's go with queen d2. Long castle. And queen takes d4. Yeah. So now h4. And after h6, I like uh, f4 in this in these positions. So just if he takes on g5, then we open the, the, the h file, right? So yeah, I think that was my neighbor. I got overexcited, but this has happened to me. I, I get along pretty well with him, so no problem, you know. He knows we are crazy chess commentators, so no problems, you know. We just get a bit calm, and that's it. And uh, f4, now I'm inviting him uh, to take on g5, but I'm sure it's not going to take on, on g5, right? Because after h takes, this looks extremely, extremely dangerous for him, so... I don't know. I just want to go. I just, I just want to push with g4. Yeah, let's get let's get crazy here and then take on h6 and then play g5 and then who cares? Yeah, who cares about pieces? Who cares about pieces? So well, <laughs> maybe g4 was a very stupid move. You know, <laughs> maybe it was a very stupid move. Let's go queen g1 and uh, after bishop g4, I think I can take on f6. Just winning in the spot, right? So, because after bishop d1, queen g7 checkmate, bishop f6, just queen g4. And, yeah, so I think we are in good shape here, because we are taking on f6, we are playing g5, and then this knight is jumping to d5 as well, so, uh, looks good to me. In, I usually watch chess to relax, but my heart rate to just spike to, spike to 160. You know, like... Uh, like blitz it's just crazy you know it's uh, super super exciting that's why i think chess will will, will, will i mean will, will succeed in in tv you know if they'll they'll give us uh, they'll give us uh, an opportunity i mean why not i mean we're normally uh, i have been following snooker yeah i love snooker for example ronnie o'sullivan yeah i think he's become world champion again and uh but I mean, if we can watch snooker on TV, why not to, to watch a, 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 a Blitz chess tournament, right? Which is so exciting. And there are so many mistakes, ups and downs, roller coasters. So, yeah, 95 attacking this bishop. And, okay, next move, Facundo, yeah? Facundo, we push Facundo. We sacrifice him. We send him to the action. And then I think, I don't know where this knight is going, actually. I think it's kind of trapped. So... This is good for us, queen g4, and definitely this is just crushing for us, right? And uh, so, queen takes c4, next move. I think he's gonna resign pretty soon, Mr. Dangerous Right from Croatia. I wanna play in Croatia. They have 
they have told me about some nice tournaments for example i'm gonna take this guy here at bishop e6 that was a move <laughs> could have just taken this guy but okay queen h whoa 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 pepe 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 i was just i think it's still winning yeah let's make it for fun queen h5 queen a2 king c1 queen a1 king d2 queen a5 c3 and I think it just wins, yeah? So should we make it for fun? So just queen h5, queen a2, king c1, queen a1, only move, king d2, queen a5, and he goes f6, I have always g6, so I think it's still winning, right? So king c1, check, check, c3, and I think it wins. So, so <laughs> let's go queen h5 here. So queen a2, king c1, queen a1, king d2, and this is gonna be checkmate real soon. And uh, King D2, Queen A5, C3, no more checks. Life is great. And it's gonna resign F6, G6. So the king doesn't escape at all. So Queen H8, next move is a checkmate, right? So G6, and we succeed with our attack on the king side, right? This is fun. Um, okay, let's take, for example, Mr. Wow, this is a very strong opponent from Spain, our friend Pelsi Gelch. Let's play C4, the English opening, one of my favorite openings. Oh, F6, he wanna make the Magnus Carlsen? He wanna, he wanna make me the Magnus Carlsen? Wanna play Magnus Carlsen against me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's go E4 here, just grabbing the center. And uh, as Wesley Saw so says, yeah, if Magnus beat me with f6 and king f7, I should retire from chess. But <laughs> but then Magnus beat him, you know. And uh, I think he's still playing chess, Wesley Saw, yeah. Okay, let's let's make some bullshit here, yeah. So king d2, yeah. Let's let's play king d2 and king c2, king d2 and king c2, and then king b3. King b3 attacking this bishop. Well, it, maybe this is just too much. <laughs> so now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what should I play here? Takes, takes, takes. Boom, 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 boom. Well, let's, let's just sacrifice the pawn. So bishop takes, pawn takes, and then pawn takes e4, and then we play that position. Yeah, we play f3 in style. And uh, yeah, we, we got the bishop pair, so it's not that bad for us. Bishop d7, yeah, I see your point. You want to go uh, bishop a4, so I gotta be careful in this position. And I guess king b1 is a natural move. Also, a4 looks good to me. Yeah, let's play a4. So here, so there's no bishop a4 in this position. And then f3, right? So pawn takes, knight takes, and bishop d3 next move. Okay. He doesn't want to take this pawn so i'm just grabbing it and then knight a3 next move okay uh knight a5 so i think still mm, there's no threat in this position so i'm gonna go knight f3 here queen e8 is a very nice idea from him just trying to grab this pawn on a4 but i guess i have some moves for example king b1 even king d3 the king this is just leonidas yeah so this is a spartan king on d3 and uh, oh shit i had queen h5 winning that's true queen h5 and then queen takes a5 just so blind today and just so blind today so let's cross the center with d5 and uh queen b6 Oof. gotta be really really careful in this position because queen b3 is just coming also rook a3 bishop a4 and oof, shit man this looks so bad. <laughs> so how should I protect all of this? So knight d2 maybe? So suspicious, yeah? <laughs> knight d2 covering b3. So pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes maybe. I think it's not working. Pawn takes, bishop f5, bishop d3, bishop takes, king takes. And I think I still survive in that position, right? So... But definitely, this is uh, not very good for me. So, I don't know what to play, man. So, let's play bishop d3. Why not? 
bishop d3 and all my pieces are completely stacked on oh, he's coming with knight e5 oh, this looks so bad man this looks terrible for me terrible 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 40 seconds oh my god let's play rook a2 here so in order to go rook b2 and then king b1 yeah let's go oof 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 queen h5 pinning this knight and now we gotta play extremely fast here rook b2 at least we managed to hide the king bishop a4 king b1 the king is finally uh the king is finally hidden, so knight f3, and then he, he takes with the pawn, he takes d5, wow, b5, wow, this is getting extremely hard, so c4, and uh, let's play, whoa, 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 bishop c2, uh, looks terrible for me, guys, looks terrible for me, king c2, and now queen takes, queen takes, rook e2 is also winning, I think we're losing this game, we are losing this game, sadly, and knight d4 just uh okay let's see what we can do here g3 and then bishop a3 completely lost we are completely lost in this position so just takes and then rook d1 wow that was very very smart that was very smart but i think i have a trick here knight d4 rook d5 he's got rook d5 there yeah he's got rook d5 and then i think i can resign pretty soon rook e7 let's see only seven seconds seven seconds i'm not saving this i'm not saving this i got rook g7 too so uh king a2 let's play king a3 and uh yes so i think we are completely lost here so just rook g7 rook g7 and uh rook g6 and i don't have time i don't oh that was even checkmate yeah very well played very well played from uh Pelsi. let's keep playing against uh, somebody I'll play blind chess today. Yes, I will, of course, at the end of this session. So, as usual, we'll finish with one minute games and to have some fun, right? <clears throat> so, knight f3. I'm playing e4 today a lot. I don't know why. Mm. So, knight c6, knight c3, and good game, man. <laughs> good game. <laughs> Okay, this is this could transpose to the Thai Manov. He's, he goes for Queen C7, but okay, he's got some ex extra options, so that's why he went for Knight F6, and I guess Bishop D3. Now Queen C7 still the main line in the Thai Manov, uh, and uh, Bishop E7. So he's playing differently, and uh, now short castle without queen c7, what's the subtlety here, I guess I can take at some point and then play some e5, but I think this is nothing special for me, so I'm just gonna go um, king h1, you know, to go some f4 at some point, right, so bishop takes d4, and yeah, I guess next move is e5, he doesn't play d6, so he's gotta stop that, so f4, the idea is always to go e5 in this position, so deviation themes, yeah, so it's time to go e5, pawn takes, pawn takes. He can never take on d4 because there's bishop eight, uh, h7. And uh, yes, we'll have some tactics here for sure. So I just want to sacrifice everything right now. I just want to sacrifice everything right now. You guys agree with me? So pawn takes. And now I want to go bishop h7 and uh, king h7, queen h5, king g8, Bishop g7, king g7, queen g4, king h8, and rook f3. What do you guys think about this variation? Let's go for this. Yeah, this is a very uh, typical stuff. Yeah, so queen h5 next move, basically pre-moving. Queen h5, and then bishop g7, queen g4. I think is forced to take on g7, otherwise queen h8, this is just check, checkmate. So king g7, queen g4, and I guess rook f3 next move. This was a very nice tactics. Yeah, rook a3. I think there is no way of stopping rook a3. So, so rook a3, next move. And rook a3, I think this is just unstoppable, yeah? So, Pepe, your forehead is growing. 
<laughs> no, come on, guys. I'm not, I'm not bald or anything like that. Yeah, so I still have my strong hair. Knight f6, rook h3. Knight h5, rook takes h5. And this is just the end of the game, right? So rook h3, knight h5, and rook h5, game over. Yeah, so there are many famous games. For example, uh, I think there is one game which is extremely famous, Kasparov against Portish. Am I talking about the right game? Probably I am. I'm not so sure, but... Okay, let's take uh, the strongest opponent I have in my in my list. Okay? So, Blunder Panda, for example. He already beat me once. And uh, it was an unfair comment. I agree with Nordisks. <clears throat> I still have my powerful hair, yeah? <laughs> so, this is the Slav defense. So I like this idea with e3, very calm variation with knight c3. Oh no, okay, okay. it was knight b to d2. I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, bishop d3. Of course, this is still playable. Let's uh, play short castle here. And uh, next move, e4, he allows me. So bishop takes c4, now b5. This is uh, very typical too. So now black wants to ideally react with c5 at some point. And we have some interesting ideas here. For example, knight e4, knight takes, bishop takes, and then putting pressure on c6. It's not, it's not gonna be an easy task for black to, to, to react with c5 because the bishop on b7 is still hanging. So let's play queen c2, putting pressure on c6 and on h7 at the same time. So, But the bad news for us is that we can take on c6 because there is a pin there. So yeah, knight f6 was smart. So let's play bishop d3 and now still not possible for him to go c5 because b5 is in the air, but I think uh, a6, this is a, just a very nice move, just to reinforce b5. Now we should react in the center with e4. Now intend to go e5, Just uh, I think this is just winning a pawn, right? Because now e5 is going to move the knight and then h7 just falls. So I think we managed to get a nice position. Give me that, baby. And now we should go, I don't know, probably to e4. Because on d3, there's knight b4 just winning the bishop. So I think the bishop is well placed over there. And there's only one break interesting for him, which is c5. And then we should pay attention to this break. And then we'll be completely fine in this position. And he shouldn't forget about his skin, right? Because his skin is uh, almost naked. We can see his underwear. And uh, there's a lot, there are a lot of attacking ideas in this position, right? Even not white hair, that's right, you know, I have so many friends, you know, without hair, with white hair, you know, and we're still doing fine, you know. Incredibly, we're still doing fine. Queen e2, I want to give checkmate right now on h5. Next move, knight g5, bishop takes, queen h5, bishop h6, bishop h6, pawn takes, queen takes, king, queen h7, checkmate. So this is ne the next move I'm playing, in he if he allows me. And uh, so... F5, whoa, what a move. Okay, I guess I, I'm gonna take this guy here and then knight e5 looks very, very strong here. So again, same idea. Queen h5, bishop h7, or even queen h7 just, just checkmate. But for example, after bishop takes e5, queen h5, king g8, bishop h7, king h8, bishop g6, king g8, queen h7. Another typical theme in these positions, right? So more tactics, I don't know. Normally, I'm a very positional player, but today I'm, I'm feeling like I want to sacrifice everything, yeah? So, <laughs> let's go for it. <clears throat> so, knight e5. Where are you going, my friend? Blunder Panda. Nice movie, yeah? Kung Fu Panda. You guys have watched it? You guys should recommend, recommend me uh, uh, some series in Netflix. H how about this uh, Cobra Kai? I heard about this series a lot, but you know, I, I watched the trailer and then it didn't inspire me. Whoa, we have a 3,000 here? If we have a 3,000 guy here, let's play against him. So, from Turkey, wow, 3,000? Let's play against him. C4, E5, this is an important game. I want to get back to my 2,800. So, what, what just happened to my rating, yeah? So I'm gonna go d4, I think knight takes e6, e4, this is uh, some idea from Aronian, bishop d4, this is very nice idea, and I guess the idea is to take queen d4 and play c5. 
I played against uh, my good friend David Larino this a lot in the Spanish in the Spanish uh, Bantam Blitz sessions. Uh, Bishop e6. Okay. So now let's attack like crazy. Let's attack like crazy. A4. Let's go for it. You watched La Casa de Papel. I watched it. Yeah. I watched it. It was it was cool. It was very cool actually. So what should I do here? Let's go Bishop e2. Just simple chess developing pieces you want to go uh, she wants to go bishop d5 i'm pretty sure about this so hmm so the other option is to play the end game which i don't want to but uh yeah well let's play queen e4 now i think his skin is a little bit weak so let's try to make use of of that by playing some g4 at some point and uh, yeah g4 is my next move he allows me and it can't take on h1 or g2 because the queen is uh, is pinned. So he went queen e8. This looks sus suspicious again. So because now I think I can grab this guy here. But yeah, I think I'll grab this guy. Queen c7, just a pawn for free. Uh, so what's your favorite show? Yeah, La Casa de Papel. It was it was cool. Yeah, I also liked it. I want to go g4 so bad right now, but. I should stop playing crazy chess, yeah. So I'm gonna go rookie one here, just uh, more calm. He plays extremely fast, this guy. What's going on with him? What's going on with him? I wanna take on h5. I wanna make boom, 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 shakalala. So he's giving me another free pawn. Too many free pawns for me, but I'm not so sure it's uh, the best option. I'm just going back to f4. And now uh, he takes on a2. Something bad's gonna happen to him. I'm pretty sure something bad's gonna happen to him. So mm, yeah, I wanna, I wanna go so bad for bishop h5 but i guess g4 should be enough to to should be enough right this well i have so many oh rook d7 this looks so nice oh shit rook d7 bishop b6 bishop c4 is this working this should work right bishop c4 is even a threat right now yeah bishop c4 looks extremely extremely great so let's go for this bishop c4 boom shakalala ra -ta 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 -ta. And now I think it can't take on c4 because of rook e7. Can't take on d7 because of bishop f7. I guess this is best choice for him. Just to sacrifice the queen. But I guess this should be completely winning for me, yeah? And uh, so takes, takes. And I guess, uh, well, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's go knight e4. Intend to go knight d6 in this position. Well, that's fair enough. But I guess queen d2 and knight d6 should be enough for advantage. And yeah, let's go knight d6. I guess I'm taking. Yes, not so easy this position. Gotta tell you this. Queen d2 has got a lot of counterplay. Yeah, probably this was not very smart for me. So now I better hurry up in this position. Let's play knight e4. Yeah, probably not was not very very smart. I think that should be enough to win the game. Let's play uh, knight d6. Yeah, so queen a4 attacking this pawn on a7 let's see king d2 now i'm gonna grab this guy on a7 give me that baby give me that baby i'm going there now there are too many checkmating ideas bishop e6 still got that idea i can't believe this i can't believe this man so give me that baby queen b queen c6 now uh, let's say queen b7 where's this king going where's this king going where's this king going i don't believe this i don't I don't believe this. Escaping? Is is he escaping? I no, I can't believe this. Twenty two seconds. I better hurry up here. So knight d three, king f one. So nothing happens. Now I'm threatening checkmate in one move, which should be enough. Knight e eight. Twenty two seconds. Okay, it's just king d two. Ah shit, king e one. Ah 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 Okay, king f two, rook g two. Oh shit. Um. King e3, ah, f4, king d2, now let's go, king c3, there's no more checks, 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 let's see what happens, knight e4, give me that baby, knight g3, boom, 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 the guy made the challenge unrated, can you believe this? <laughs> I just want one uh, strong opponent, just beat one strong opponent, and then he just make the challenge unrated. This is not fair. Come on. 
and this is just not fair, yeah? <laughs> okay, let's take another strong opponent, yeah? Mate KP from Colombia, Mateo Lopez. No rating? The guy wants to preserve his rating? This is just not fair, you know? I've been, you know, dreaming about beating him and then this is not good, man. This is not good. You should think about this this night. I should not make challenges unrated in Chess 24 against Pepe, you know? I should give him some free points, you know? So, this is the Phil Leader. This is one of my favorite openings. I have been employing this during my whole career uh, with some success. Uh, so, you won't see this in Elite too many times, but actually... In the last uh, in the last months, Dubov has been playing it, and also Magnus Carlsen. Actually, Magnus beat Lanier Dominguez in St. Louis Rapid, and uh, Dubov beat actually Magnus Carlsen. So I'm very glad uh, to see the Philidor back in the in, in top in top tournaments. So here the idea is to go Rook B8 and B5. Okay, so we cannot go B5 straight away because after A takes Pawn takes A's Knight B5 and the Rook on A8 is hanging. So let's take here on E5. Uh, yeah, exactly. I suffered a defeat against Carlsen in the in the Banter Blitz Cup. You are you are more than right. So um, B5, and now we managed to create some sort of counter play on the queen side. And then I love these positions because now you see once the tension is resolved in the center, so that means uh, White took on E5. Now the C5 square is available for us. So we are using that square for the knight probably knight C5. And now we have some ideas. For example, bishop g4. Ah, he wants to capture this guy on e5. So how should we react against this? I guess we can take on e4. I guess we can take on e4. This is a blunder, right? This is a big blunder. So knight takes e4, bishop takes, knight takes, bishop e7, just knight takes e3. And if queen takes e5, queen takes, knight takes, and bishop takes g5, this is just a piece for free, right? And... So, no rate him, yeah? This is just unbelievable. So, 94, and I guess this is just too good for us. Okay, he managed to save the piece with that move, but I guess right now we're enjoying a fantastic position. We don't need to trade on, on g5. We can just play f6, but I ain't afraid of queen b3, which probably is just uh, too good for him. So, I guess we'll just play something... something like like what h6 just simple chess or even bishop f5 looks good but knight g3 just wins a pawn gotta be careful here so let's just kick this knight back with h6 and now i'm even thinking to play f6 in this position even though it looks terrible okay but this shouldn't be the move because now because now because now because now because now what queen b6 just trading queens this is just too healthy for us this is very healthy. We got the bishop pair. We got an extra pawn. So why should be worried in this position, right? Mm. Rook b6. Queen takes. Rook takes. And I guess nothing to worry about in this position, right? So remember, guys, in two days, no witches in English, Spanish, Italian, uh, German, French, Portuguese. You can follow in different languages in chess 24. Queen c3, okay, attacking this guy here, f5, f5, queen e5, yeah, this should be enough, right, f5, queen e5, pawn takes, queen takes, queen f2, king h1, I don't see how to finish, but I guess this should be more than playable, yeah, because I think I have got some bishop g4 at the end of the line, okay, he didn't even think about this, so instead knight d6, which is nice too, and I guess I'm playing just bishop f6. But I should hurry up because I got only 46 seconds. And uh, it's getting complicated. It's getting a little bit complicated. So just, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's play bishop. Oof, 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 oof. G6, 32 seconds. Pepe, wake up. Wake up. Rook c7. Oof, 
Oof, oof, oof, oof, oof. Rook f7. Oh, scheiße. I think I got this. No, 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 no. This is just resign, yeah? I should resign in this position. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. I just blundered with queen b3. I, I just can't believe this. This is just resigning, yeah? This is, I, I gotta resign here. There's nothing. There's, I got this move. I got this move. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have time. I don't have time. So, yeah, I gotta resign here. Two seconds. Well played. Well played. He managed to... Uh, to hold on the position and then beat me. So I was quite relaxed after I got the pawn and the bishop pair and everything. And then you know what happens in chess, you get relaxed and uh, you just lose the game, yeah? Okay, not playing well today, definitely. So, well, let's take another strong opponent here. For example, um, yeah, Jinko. Jinko from from Spain too. <clears throat> and okay, let's play e4. This is uh, probably the last game we're playing three minutes game, and then the, we're playing one minute game. So you can challenge me to one minute game, guys. And here, what should we do? Yeah, let's play knight b3. Next game, knight c3, and uh, normally you want to trade this guy here because he's very strong, so that's why you, people play queen e2 and then bishop e3, then long castle, and then try to start a pawn march on the king side, right? Wake up, a set. So, knight f6, queen e2, short castle. Uh, after such a magnificent win, there's often a loss from a loser opponent. It happens all the time. It's mental. Focus. Well, I'm receiving orders from my friend Nordisk. So, long castle. And as you guys know, in these positions, f3, g4, h4. And enjoy a fantastic attacking <coughs> pawn march on the king side, right? And still not so clear how black is going to react. There's no contemplate on the queen side. And definitely, yeah, bishop e6 is trying to react with some d5. But I think it's just not possible yet. Because uh, there is a pin on the d5, right? And uh, yeah, g4, next move. is intended to go to the c4 square, <clears throat> which is definitely an option. But I guess I got nothing to worry about. Yeah, there is some sacrifice on g4, which is at least interesting. Yeah, I should have paid attention to that. But I think it's not going to be brave enough to take on g4. Maybe it's not even clear, so it's just uh, losing, I don't know. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, queen d2, or queen f2, bishop takes d1, knight takes d1. Yeah, he went for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, the sooner I speak, the... <laughs> okay, so now what should I do? So I think I should take here. Yeah, probably this was not smart at all. So bishop a6, a, b, f4 is another option, followed by f5. <coughs> Yeah, f4 followed by f5 is another option. I think I'm just taking this guy here. Uh, bishop g4, just queen f2. So bishop d1, knight takes d1. And I guess this should be okay for us, yeah? If we manage to coordinate the, the two minor pieces, then... Oh, knight g4. Didn't see that. I didn't see that. Mm, queen g3, knight takes e3, knight takes e3. And... He's got no queen g5, but this is a whole different story because he keep this strong bishop on b6. But still, I think this is better for white. I still think that, but not so sure. And <clears throat> yeah, we got some attacking ideas as well on the queen side, on the king side, sorry. Mm, he wants to go queen h6. So that's why I think we're going to remove the king to b1 and uh, there's no more queen h6 ideas uh, they can be met with knight f5 so there's no point anymore to bring the queen to h6 so now bishop d3 we protect the e4 pawn and now we are ready to start attacking on the king side with moves like knight f5 with moves like h4 and uh, yeah it wants to go g5 but okay let's play knight f5 g6 so 
there is no threat yet, so h4 followed by h5 probably is moving the king. No, he didn't go for king h8, but instead for h5. And now let's play rook f1. So uh, now we are threatening some dirty discovered moves. For example, knight h6 in this position, just winning the queen. So we got to do something about this. Also, knight d6 looks winning. But I think this shouldn't be the move. Knight h6. Yeah, knight h6. Let's go for this. Knight h6, check. 28 seconds. Where are you going with this king? King h7. I think I got rook f7, king h6, queen no, no, I don't have that. I don't have that. So I'm just taking here and taking on f7, followed by knight g5. And this is good for us too. So no problems. Finally, this knight is also joining the party. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. Knight g5 check. King h6. And uh, let's say rook d1. It's got only 15 seconds. And... Yeah, I think we are much better here. So let's play knight d2 in order to go knight c4, attacking the e5 pawn. And life is good. Attack pawn, c3. Now we're grabbing this guy. Knight e5, followed by knight f7. It's also a big threat here. Now the rook on d8 is just hanging. So we get a win here. And okay, let's play some one minute games. As I was telling you guys, and. Uh, <clears throat> I think we already played it. No, he's from Mexico. Mm. Yeah, Pat Sepulitzer, I'll, I'll play against you one minute again, uh, blindfold, okay? You are the one today to crush me. So d4 and knight f6, c4. And this is a king's Indian. So, oh, what did just happen? Okay, I just played the gambit. <laughs> At three, knight at three, so bishop e2, followed by short castle, and then bishop g5. Well, let's uh, just close the position with d5. And uh, yeah, let's play bishop g5, targeting this knight on f6, pinning this knight. Pawn takes, knight takes, well, h6, let's just go back to h4, and I'm just gonna sacrifice everything. Yeah, who cares, yeah? Who cares? Who cares? I don't care about anything. I just don't care. Just don't. Knight e4, so we keep. Pinning this knight on f6. Now bishop d3, queen f3. Putting pressure. Pawn takes. Now rook e8, just mm, bishop d3 probably. Uh, yeah, bishop d3. So there's no rook e4. Now queen f3 is coming. Looks very good for us actually. I don't know if it's working or not, but <clears throat> queen b6. Oh, you want to play smart guy with me? Yes, you won. Because c4 is actually a good threat. So just taking on f6. And let's just play queen Queen h1, so there's no c4, and now queen f3 is just the next move. Let's go for queen f3. Now putting pressure on f6. f7 is under pressure, so give me that. Give me that. Give me that. And this should be an advantage. A little bit better for us, yeah? Not so much, but okay. Rook f1. Rook f3. And takes, takes. Just king g1. There's no checkmate. And rook b3. Let's play king f2, king g3, h4, there, check, 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 and let's play rook f3, for example, and let's say king g4, g3, and then he's gonna resign, there's no time for him, thanks for the game, and some strong opponent, yeah, some strong opponent, okay, let's play against K. Some hippopotamus, maybe? No. Okay, this is a king's Indian. With bishop g7, short castle, c5, c6, why not? My mouse doesn't want to play c5, so knight g4. Now we're getting the bishop pair, so only g5 is available, so this is good for us. Now f5, opening up the position for our bishops. This looks good. So knight d7, knight f6. Now the knight is in a good position. Look at this center, man, yeah? Look at this center. With these pawns, it's just an amazing center, yeah? So, let's play queen c7, just reinforcing the center. Rook e8, now protecting e5. Queen b6 is also an interesting move. So, let's play, yeah, let's play queen b6. Let's play the end game. Should be good as well. Maybe not the best try, but uh, who cares, yeah? So, oh, 
this pawn is under attack actually i don't like this so 95 now e5 is well protected i've got some ideas here for example f4 followed by knight e3 at some point or even knight f4 hit last me now h3 is under attack so yeah give me that baby bishop takes and rook goes to f2 no this is uh, another fruit for me bishop h6 and too much material for us yeah e4 e the pawn takes king h8 rook f3 and he's gonna resign bishop f4 rook g3 and let's say check here and there thanks for the game well so i think it's time to play patzer blitzer one minute blindfold game i wanna do this against my friend patzer blitzer where are you patzer you didn't challenge me patzer patzer where are you i don't see your challenge patzer i'm waiting for you That's it. Don't see your challenge. Where are you? My friend. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to hide my pieces. Right? I'm going to hide my pieces and then try to play. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. So you guys should try to follow this. Yeah, as well. This is a good way of training. Oh, wait. I'll hide every piece, not just mine. <laughs> Here we go, e3, so I'm gonna go c5 there, this is a one minute game, bishop d3, what is this guy doing, knight c6, so h4, h5, yeah, so this is a good option, yeah, because now I'm gonna get crazy, because I, this is not a normal position, queen f3, just going e5 here, gra gra grabbing the center, knight takes e5, and knight f6 here, I think I can grab the bishop if I play c4 here, so let's see what he plays, knight f3, now I'm gonna play bishop g4, uh, pinning this knight on f3, now short castle c4, give me that bishop baby, give me that bishop baby, I think we're just winning right now, there's no room for that bishop on d3, queen f2, what is that move, what is that move, I'm gonna take on f3, gonna take on f3, that's a uh, piece for free, so pawn takes e3, pawn takes e3, knight takes e3, now we're just uh, attacking the queen on f2, it's gonna move the queen, He's gonna move the queen. Where are you going, my friend? So where are you going? Queen g3, probably. That's the best option for you. I think you gotta resign pretty soon. Queen g3, bishop d6, queen g7, rook g8. Boom, shakalala, ba boom. He resigns. That's it. Now I'm showing you the game. Now I'm gonna show you the game. This is the way we always do. Also in the Spanish stream. So here he was playing like crazy of course this is a good actually choice when you're playing somebody blindfold because we chess players we recognize patterns we have uh, you know known positions in our head but you know if we play some shit some bullshit you know I, I can't remember anything so this was the game and then here c4 just wins a piece yeah so here he resigned okay let's uh, give another try to somebody else to one minute game and uh, let's play, for example, our friend Priyan from India, I think. So let's hide all the pieces. And this is going to be the last game before we leave. And all right. So I got the uh, black pieces. So are you there, my friend Priyansu? Priyansu is not here. So I'm going to cancel the game and then play against somebody else for for somebody else sorry for example against the uh, air knights from from the united states are you here well i'm gonna play e4 now let's see what happens what minute game sorry you bet the money you guys bet the money on me or not so g6 c4 i'm gonna play the bull system <laughs> So, uh, knight f3, now I'm trying, okay, he didn't, he didn't allow me to play d4, this is a, a good option for him, and then short castle, then I'm trying to transpose to the Maroxy system, d4, let's see, bishop d7, pawn takes, knight takes, we are in the Maroxy system right now, bishop c6, let's play f3, uh, protecting this guy, and now queen d2, queen c7, rook c1, looking with x-rays to this queen, rook f to d1, this looks good to me, Let's, let's play bishop e3, just uh, playing calm, e6, and now bishop f4, just targeting d6, e5, let's go back to e3, and now we got the d5 square, actually, so 40 seconds, 30 seconds only for me, 
Uh, this is not looking good, actually. B6, let's just play knight d5. Let's see, he captures with the knight. This is just a big mistake because the bishop on c6 is just pinned. And then we are getting a piece for free. D takes c6. This looks very good now. F5, where are you going, my friend? I'm gonna play queen d5 check. That's a check, my friend. Now, king f8. Let's just play bishop c4. Intend to go queen g8 checkmate. That's a checkmate. Let's see, he spots that. Let's see, he spots that with only 18 seconds. I, I'm threatening, uh, sorry, queen g8 checkmate. And then he resigns. He resigns. He resigns. And we got the point. This was another interesting game. You see, we were threatening queen g8 checkmate. And uh, it's too strange for me. I am drunk, our friend. <laughs> Flint's is sane, you know. I just played this uh, strange system. But then we actually ended up transposing to the Maroxy system. And here he just made a big blunder, yeah. Here he took with the with the knight, yeah. He took with the knight and then, yeah. We were threatening actually checkmate on g8. And actually it's what, it's, it was not easy to deal with that. Maybe queen f6 in order to go king e7, just escaping from there. Okay, let's play last one, yeah. Let's play last one in one minute. And uh, Gustafsson Gambit against our uncle Jan Gustafsson. Okay, last game, blindfold. Okay, and uh, let's go. Bang. Let, we're gonna play aggressive with e e4, yeah, because uh, we're playing blindfold, so we need to finish the game. Oh, I just played d3. <laughs> okay, let's play d4 anyway. <laughs> Who cares? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know where are the pieces. Pawn takes. Bishop b5 and a6, bishop takes, short castle. Now we want to go rook e1, check. Pawn takes e5, cannot take actually on c5 because it's just pinned. So bishop e3, we protect the pawn on c5. And now I think we got a nice position actually. So knight d2. So just uh, I want to um, I wanna recapture on c3, on f3, sorry, with the bishops. And uh, yeah, this is not looking good, guys. So I'm going to take on e4. I'm gonna take on d8. Wow. Um, mm, now I'm playing knight e5. Mm, just uh, attacking this uh, pawn on c6. I'm not so sure what I'm doing. I gotta be honest with you. So I'm just playing knight b4. Not so sure at all. Knight there. So knight d5. Oh shit, 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 shit. Bishop takes knight c3. And I think we are just a pawn up. But uh, it's very complicated, yeah? Rook d1, I think we are doing fine here. So f6, just rook d4, intend to capture this guy here. Rook e5, he doesn't allow me. So just playing rook d5 in order to exchange some pieces. Give me that, baby. Knight d1, knight e3. We're gonna pre-move everything. Knight g4, attacking the rook there. So uh, I'm just playing king h2, f3, knight e3, just rook e1, pre-move. Nine seconds, nine seconds. Oh, okay. What, what did I do? Rook e1, king g1, king f1, rook e3, rook d1. Come on. Ah! Rook d2, rook d1, rook d1, rook d2, rook d1, rook d2. Oh my god. Okay. So we ended up losing this game. But it was a lot of fun. At some point, you know, I was just pre moving. And if you pre move, you don't see your opponent's move. <laughs> So, this was tough, yeah? Okay, this was... Here I wanted to go d4, but then mouse leap. And then anyway, I went for d4. But here, we managed to get a nice position with a pawn up. Here, we took. And then, yeah. This was uh, a better endgame for me. But okay. Here, I was just starting to pre-move since I had uh, no time. And then I was just not seeing his, his, his where his pieces were, yeah? Okay. Guys, so it's been a pleasure as usual. And uh, hope to see you uh, real soon again. I'll be focused in the Spanish streams since uh, Norwich Chess is just starting in a couple of days. But as usual, uh, for me, it's been a pleasure to play against all of you guys, to talk to you. This is always great and fun. And uh, just take care, yeah? It's difficult, difficult times. And just to try to stay healthy with all your family and friends. And uh, hopefully we'll get some OTB chess tournaments real soon when this damn pandemic goes away. So, 
just uh, have fun take care you drink don't drive yeah see you guys